I'm Daniel and this is Asheville Weekly episode 109. Monday morning and I'm above the yard. The time is 6.02. We're just coming into Heathrow and Terry should be there to collect me. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Plan is get my bag jump in with Terry, go back to the yard, have a quick look around, go home, unpack, throw a couple of things in the washing machine, back and forth at home all day. I've got a meeting at half nine and I have a really important meeting at one o'clock. Then I'll be back at the yard again tonight. Hopefully I'll pack and then leave in the morning with my case and have a full day of working tomorrow. Terry's not coming to get me because I got out and I was looking and he's still in the yard, frantically trying to sort stuff out. And I'm calling him and he's going, yeah, 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 I'm on the way. <laughs> oh no, the man's still in the yard and I'm standing outside in the cold, isn't it? But he's got more important things to do in the yard, so I'm just gonna get a cab. <laughs> this man's taking lippies. He's taking lippies. Nice. Man's giving me a puncture and no fuel. No, the, the, the puncture thing came on literally as I drove down to the bottom. Oh, uh, of course. Yeah, honestly. Oh my. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's it? Nah, 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 Bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, it is bad. Oh, now you, you probably had time to go up and down on the weekend. Man, I left no, my- No, you know, I parked it Friday, I didn't use it. No, oh, yes. Shagger, man. I'm just gonna head over into the backyard quickly, see the state of play. Before I head back against my better judgment, I know I really shouldn't. Mm, it looks all right, you know. It looks all right, nice and neat. Nice to come back and see the yard looking like that. What I really want to see is my lovely new offices. I want to see them in the flesh. Oh my goodness, they are huge. Put it like this. I'm not disappointed. So if I double stack these containers, I can then have these timber decks on top and unlike what terry said they won't be used for barbecuing gonna take a better look later i really need to get back and start washing my undies otherwise i'm gonna have no clean clothes to go to finland updated a refurbishment project is that thankfully today the scaffold starts to go up Instead of us buying those IBCs all the time, a company comes and continually fills up the tank and this tank gives them readings of our level of ad blue and they come and top it up without us having to do anything. And I've just been told that that tank has arrived. The work on the Asheville Construction website is to a point where we're just gonna leave it for now because we didn't create a new website. We took the existing websites and we changed them to have a better look, we added more pages, the new branding, and it is now time to start Asheville Aggregates. So if you have a look now on screen, you'll see it looks like the new Volvo Tippers. And that is the new branding moving forward, but I'm not about to go and rebrand all the older Scania Tippers. Whenever we get new lorries, they will have the new branding on them. Heading back to the yard, I am feeling it a bit, but there's still a long way to go today until I put my head down. We need to know who is doing what. If we're working with a sales rep, what are they focused on? If they're working with transport solutions, somebody wants to bring something in on the rail yard, that's fine, we need to know what people are doing. We're just going through uh, a sales strategy. Something I thought about on the plane and Matt also noticed it. I think we're very weak on our LinkedIn. 
it needs to stand out more and it needs to have more information. It needs to talk about more what the business is doing as opposed to just my personal LinkedIn and what I'm doing. So we're gonna try and grow the company LinkedIn. Having a look on the cameras, I can see all the drivers getting back and I just had a puncture. Get this, we've got a full-time tire fitter now, but he's off today because he had the day booked off and I got a puncture on my car. So I had to pay someone to come and fix the puncture on my car. <laughs> just like, you couldn't make it up. Anyway, there's so much going on that I completely forgot we're at another project doing some really cool high-end bathrooms and I haven't filmed any of it and I haven't even mentioned it, but we're so busy that we're not gonna be able to film a lot of it. But what I can tell you is when these are finished, they're super cool, like they've got some really, uh, uh, look, forgive me, I've got to use the word, some really exotic and extravagant stone. Those bathrooms are gonna be super cool when they're done. Let's have a look how that works getting on. Tuesday morning and I'm in the car park. Car's loaded up. Got my cases for later, got travel clothes to change into, got a day full of meetings, and then I'm heading to Finland. It's 8.46, I'm on the way to the yard. Just like we did the last time, got to do it every six months. It's time to service the silo. <laughs> Where are you? You don't sound like you're at work. No, I don't play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was you in the toilet having a cry there? Or where, where was you? No, I was sitting in the reception. We get a lot of visitors during the morning time, so I introduce them to all the staff, bring them in, sit them down, make them tea, coffee, toast, marmalade on the side. So your job role has changed? So you're now in hospitality? <laughs> <laughs> I was always there. What's happening over in America? What are they saying over there? They're good over there? Yeah, they're all right, man. They're, they're all right. Uh, I can't, but I'm a bit tired. Daniel is traveling tonight on a plane. I'm off again tonight, man. Where are you going? I'm going to Finland tonight. Finland? What are you going to Finland for? What do you think I'm going for? The same thing I always go for. I'm going filming. Are you going filming in Finland? I thought yeah. Or one yeah. of them other lot I'd invited you to another do and forgot about me again. Do you know what it is, mate? They know how busy you are. What are you doing? I'm going home. <laughs> you see, what's the time? Two minutes past four, you're going home. Well, I am an entrepreneur in the muckaway business, yes. Mm. Uh, I'm, I didn't become the, the top muck monster in Tottenham for nothing, right? Is there actually anyone else in Tottenham doing it? No, uh, there's an odd uh, little small firm, you know, the little mushroom firm that pop up overnight. What's it like being a granddad? <laughs> no, 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 not in a rude way. What's it like being a granddad? I've already had him out on the lorry with me. Oh, is it? I said, you don't want to be a footballer, I said, because you earn too much money, you want to be a tipper man, so you earn no money. <laughs> First thing you've got to do is got to go out and buy a tipper, Yeah. buy a second-hand one that someone's ripped the living daylights out of and it's broke up, Yeah. so you have plenty of stress. So when you get there on a Monday morning, it won't start, it's got mm. two flat wheels. Mm. That's how you need to start your career. And what did he say? He said, <laughs> <laughs> He's got to stop going to Bermondsey. People are really upset about me going to do a bit of work in a different area. Yeah, but Hold on, there's one of yours. There's one of yours on Marlebon Road. Is it broke down? Uh, nearly. I can see some smoke coming out the exhaust. It'll probably be down in about an hour. Shooing it on. Yeah. And he's loaded, going back with his first skip, mate. He's ready to tip and get out again to do another one of his 12 he's got to do today. Each driver, 56 lorries, 12 jobs each. Mate, that would be some doing, but that that is... I know that, that your drivers ain't doing that. What was the crack in America? I can't really tell you that, mate. I've had to sign paperwork to say I'm not going to say anything, so I can't really, do you know what I mean? No, no it's, um, I can't it's give it away. Disclosure. Disclosure for you. Yeah, it's like, I, I can't tell you what network, I can't tell you anything, I just can't tell you the storyline. All I can tell you is that I'm on it. Do they want some proper actors in it, like myself? Um, obviously not, because they got me there. So, like... Oh. 
that was the start off of the amateurs and what professionals come in behind you. I think that's how you, like, you, I think that's how it works. I think you warm it's like a warm up, like you warm up and then you push the big weights. You've seen one of my already he's probably going back with his third or fourth skip off. A minute ago he was going back with his first one, now he's going back with his fourth one. Which one is it? I've just had a look in the computer, I've just seen who the lorry was, I tracked him on the tracking system. You don't know how to use the computer. <laughs> They've got so many screens up here, this is like NASA screens. <laughs> just because everyone calls back the office and says, we have a problem. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to your mate in the week, your transport manager, Terence. Oh, you're speaking to Terry, were you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me, was he after you for a job? Yeah, I didn't want to say that. I could have asked, I signed this, the, uh, this the confidentiality agreement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say that you he, he wanted the job. Okay. When did you go to Finland? Today, this evening. Oh, he's coming down to interview today. Okay, right. He said he's got your car, so he's all right. Better drive around than that. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. Take my car to go on an interview with you. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> go on, enjoy the day. I'll speak to you soon. I'll see you in a bit. It's 8.46. I'm on the way back to the yard. Finish my meeting. As we continue with the tyre area, Bartek needs to come and connect the compressor, but he's stuck on a job at the moment. But I've made a couple of information, not instruction, information signs. If you have a look here, um, just to alert people and to tell people what needs to be done from a health and safety and evacuation um, standpoint. Okay. Come in. Hello. Hello. Um, Jules, it's been five years, really, yeah? Yeah. Five years. Yeah. Is this for me? Yes, Jules. Really? Yes, Jules, it's really for you. Oh, that's so sweet, thank you. There you go. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks so There you much. go. What thank you for your five years of service. Thank you. Thank you. Now, don't be getting upset now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you, Daniel, that's really sweet. You're most welcome. Drink it at the weekend. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jules. Jules, Jules has been with us um, five years now. Um, she's still very young, uh, but when she did get here, she was even younger. Uh, she's kind of um, blossomed at the business. When she got here, all she did was answer the phone. Now she has um, a comprehensive knowledge of everything we do in the business. Sometimes I think Jules knows more about concrete and trucks than I do. Uh, she has a hand in sales, she has a, ha a hand in administration, she has a hand in accounts, she has a hand in transport, and a lot of the clients call and only want to speak to Jules. So we're lucky to have her, and we congratulate her and thank her on five years. In other news, we had a cement delivery. And our in-house tire fitter is repairing a couple of punctures and preparing a couple of tires on rims to go onto lorries. My cue. Terry? On the road again. We are heading to the airport again. Tezza in the house, boy. The man who ducked me yesterday morning. <laughs> man said, yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, now man, I'm still in the yard, <laughs> like blocked in. But I allow it, because he's doing important stuff. Now, Terry, by the time I'm back here, yeah, I want all them lorries paid off and the whole yard concreted. <laughs> yeah, fine, no problem. <laughs> in two days' time. <laughs> what work our new financial um, director started today. Very promising day. Uh, she is very knowledgeable and there's a lot of questions I thought she wouldn't be able to answer, but when I asked the question, she answered them because she goes like- It doesn't matter um, what industry you're in, that's like, like that, that works across every industry. And um, I believe that she, ha I don't know what it is exactly, but she has the highest qualification an accountant can have. It's All good right. to have on the CV. Terry met Louise earlier, didn't you, Terry? I did. Uh, yes, so we are trying to sort out the finances in our business and do the sales. And at last, because he was crying about it, Terry got some business cards ordered. That man's been <laughs> crying about his business cards, you know. I mentioned them once last night. You mentioned them once. Three no. years I've been here and I haven't got a business card. Terry now has business cards on order. And see with those business cards, he's planning on doing business. <laughs> anyway, we're on the way to the airport. I got some time to get there, but I'm running a little bit behind. And let's hope that Terry doesn't mash up my whip like he did last time. <laughs> Can I have this please? Thank you. 
said, oh, don't, don't help me or nothing. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> Come down in my suitcases. Terry the Shagger. He's going to take my whip and shag it again. <laughs> there we are, here for a Terminal 3. Terry is going back to the yard and he will sleep in my office until I return. Where are you flying to? Uh, Finland. I could be back at any point, Don't any rock, second. Don't rock back. Goodbye, Terry. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. Yes, ah, sorry. Ah, uh, thanks. Of course. Yeah. I haven't seen anyone else in this airport yet. I'm going to baggage reclaim. Flight left late because there was a problem at Heathrow, mix up with the bags. <sighs> Hopefully they sorted it out because I'm about to find out if my bags have arrived here. And at some point I should see someone else. And hopefully my driver is here. Ah, people. Got my bag. not to me. Yes, that is me. Are you Daniel? I am. Hello. How are you doing? You? Made it back to the hotel, 3.13. I've unpacked. I didn't go to sleep yet because I need to make sure I'm ready for the morning. Got all my orange gear out, ready. Just had a final read of the brief for tomorrow. Set my alarm, calling it a night. Wednesday morning, ready to go, leaving the hotel. I managed to get a break at lunchtime while they were setting up one of the shoots. I spoke to um, Sam, our architect. Now at the refurbishment project, there's a special type of staircase what the client would like. And we're trying to work out how we fit it in the confines of the space. So Sam's sending me sketches and I'm trying to work out how to do it because the space doesn't really allow a rounded or spiral staircase, but we want a staircase that gives the optical illusion that it is. So basically the stairs are normal, but it's curved on both sides and it's gonna to need to be fabricated out of steel. I think it's possible, but it's gonna require some thinking. We have started doing um, some of the structural work now. We're digging out to do the underpinning, the pads, and we're gonna start the steel work very soon, but there's a load of back and forth between David, uh, the steel fabricator, and the engineer. But I am told the plans are finalized and we carry on with that work now. other project doing the bespoke bathrooms we've more or less finished with our first fix <laughs> nearly back at the hotel. Luckily for me, there's a 24 hour gym around the corner. I'm very tired, but I got to try and keep on top of it. And then later on, hopefully zoom Terry, if he is available. Nah, it's actually one minute away. Only a few hours ago, I showed you uh, the staircase for the refurbishment project. While I was training, it was playing on my mind. I was thinking, how is this gonna, no, this is gonna look silly. This was the height we've got there and the window in front that, this isn't gonna work. So I messaged Sam, and Sam and I are gonna jump on a Zoom. Daniels. Clean that. Uh, can you see me? I can. What are you doing in um, in Iceland? Not a lot, considering I'm in Finland. Oh, sorry, Finland. <laughs> uh, I'm filming for a TV filming. show, Samuel. I'm filming for a TV show. Oh, wow. Show. Okay, finally. That's good to hear. 
Oh, that opens up the space like properly, boy. When you come in from the front entrance, rather than doubling back on yourself, the mm. stairs are there. That works, what you're showing me. What's the head height like getting underneath these stairs at the highest point, just by near the closest to the front door? Please say it's two meters. Yep, about two meters. Yes. What, 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 what's wrong? What are you going to say? As if I were to break it up and then twist this around. Mm. So you had all of this on the same... Oh, this whole area. Oh, that would be on epic. One level. That whole glass at the front. That's a mm -hmm. feature. Like, there could be a chair there, small coffee yeah. table, just sitting at the window, like, watching the sunrise. Is there any way that we can come up from the ground floor, yeah? That we come to the height of this window and the staircase kind of stops and becomes an entire mm -hmm. landing, and then the staircase starts again. So the staircase isn't even fluid. The only thing is here, yeah, you start from this corner here. That's, that's not which... a problem. Let's make the bottom step much bigger, then the second mm -hmm. step a little smaller, third step a little smaller, and from the yeah. fourth step, then that is the width of the staircase. Let's make uh -huh. a feature at the bottom. I, I think you can only do the bottom step. Sorry, it's my mistake. Because from the second step, the curved kind of balustrade that goes all the way down. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you can only do the bottom step. So give us a nice big bottom step. Are you recording this? Of course. This is great stuff, man. People just see a staircase and think, oh, yeah, it just got like that. It didn't just get like that. People had to take their time and sit down and plan it. This is how projects evolve. They need to see it, Sam. That landing mm -hmm. goes right up to the window, doesn't it? When, when we curve up the stairs, I may curve mm -hmm. out to protect people from that landing from falling off the side and going upwards i may come out of um one side and then curve in and then go oh yeah 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 we're so in the this game. and then yes sweep, we're in the game sweep around here and then the same kind of sweeping movement when we get up to the first floor remove all that wooden balustrade and then i'll follow it and around there around. as well all the way to the other side yeah if you can I'm model it and that. send it to david that's good sam thank you that was just emails and pictures and messages and talking to David and David took it to Sam and took it to fabricators and going back and forth. Um, 15 minutes on a Zoom call, uh, the stairs is um, decided and now that goes to a steel fabricator and the steel fabricator, uh, they'll take those dimensions and they'll begin to design it and now they can accurately price it. Really happy with that. Tomorrow I have to, um, still got a late start, I've got to be down in the lobby at 7.45, which is decent, but it's already 9 o'clock. Haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. Not sure if I will get a chance. Um, but that's it for Wednesday. Very positive day. Keeping it moving. 7.40. I'm outside the hotel, waiting for my driver to take me to the set. Feel relatively refreshed. No breakfast again today. Still minding the wait. Going to work before I can have something to eat. At the moment, kind of on top of the work um, that's going on at home. Um, it's two hours ahead here, so nobody's really in the yard yet, but I've got an eye on it. I'm definitely gonna have to have a Zoom uh, with Terry later on. There was a job we were working on and Terry's managed to secure it, so well done, Terry. We're trying to start getting in place what we need to do for that job. I think we need to deliver about 3,000 ton of material in one week, which is light work for us, but we just need to plan it because it's not on our doorstep. Hoping for a fruitful day. Just going through security at the site, the finalized plans for Sideman Simon's uh, YouTube room um, have come through. So I've sent these through to Con. It's for Con to discuss with Simon if they can agree that this is it and there's no more changes, uh, then we can price it and hopefully get this started. Now, Simon wants this finished before Christmas, but with all the bespoke woodwork, not sure that's possible. But let's get him to agree at first and then we'll price it, see if we can make a start very soon. Much longer day of filming today. The time is uh, four minutes to 8 p.m. This morning I showed you uh, Sideman Simon's room. So I've now made an appointment, uh, myself, David, and Will are gonna go there on Monday at eight o'clock because um, my team haven't actually seen the room other than the video. So we're gonna go there with the finalized plans 
um, have a look around and prepare a detailed quotation so hopefully Simon can approve it and we can start the work. I've got plenty of emails to do but just to refresh my mind I've been filming all day I'm gonna go back to the gym train have a shower sit in front of my laptop and hopefully Terry has put Cora to bed and we can have a zoom and I can catch up with what's happened today Daniel old bro man you can't even work the technology did you see the stuff I sorted with the account so we can start supplying that material to that job I saw that yeah 3,000 yeah. ton initially well done Tezza boy a 3,000 ton order Type 1 needs to be approved. Really? I thought, the, is, I thought the, that Type 1 gets approved anywhere. Yeah, they're saying that it will get approved, but it's not approved yet. The 605 got approved in the space of a couple of days. How are the lorries getting on? They're busy. Tippers have been kept busy. Mm. Um, Sobbing work off of other people, to be honest, but the Arctics have not been very busy at all. And that new job that you want, will they take Arctics in there? No, so they can't take the tipping trailers. If any of the walking floor trailers, they'll, they'll take. Oh, yeah, but this is these walking floor trailers. People want thirty grand more for a trailer, but then they want the material cheaper. How does that? How, like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't make no sense. I need to really focus on getting this bagging plant going because this is another week we haven't done any. I, I really need to. It's my fault, man. Okay. I need Bartek to come and do the electrical work, but just he's busy. The other job, isn't he? Yeah, but I'm with Bartek on Monday morning looking at a job. So I may ask Bartek to just go straight to the yard after, get the yard done, and then go back to the and then go back to the job the day after. Just because I, we really need this bagging plant working, it's just it's just a pointless exercise like that. Just sitting there. Yeah, it's just yeah. an ornament, though, isn't it? Yeah, I need to go to site for that because there's a material on the floor that they want to potentially recycle, but they're not sure about it. So he's asked me to go down and look at that. See so when you arrive on site. In that bad boy whip, yeah. You'll just win that job. They'll just see yeah, you and just say, "No, no, get back in your car, no, no, no. If you want, you want, get back in your car. You Come off the side. You don't even need to do anything. You just when you turn up, they're just gonna know how serious you are. They're gonna know that you are okay. someone. They're gonna what business cards are arriving as well? What <laughs> business cards? Whip, <laughs> boy, <laughs> that's coming off in the world, boy. I got a couple of meetings myself next week. I really. Good one, talking to um, someone about running uh, from another part of the country, running their material down here, handling and bagging, not discussed any haulage because they may come and collect it themselves. And the, the email I forwarded you earlier, I'm trying to put together a JV. So we have to give them a complete solution. But they have to use rail, so their options are limited, but I believe we are the best route. Speaking to the railway company, speaking to where we need to go at the end of the line you know who they are and uh, we're going to go under one umbrella and see if we can provide the complete total service for them and as part of it I'm discussing maybe I I'm going to do some media alongside it because it's going to be a massive sustainability piece taking trucks off the road the journey how we've reduced the carbon footprint so I'm, I'm going to put the whole media thing as part of the package so we can all showcase what we're doing so, you're not the only one who's got meetings. Anything I need to know? Have you sacked anyone? Like, and, no. Okay, fine. No, no, you ain't yeah, sacked no, anyone? Close. <laughs> close, close. I ain't going to come back and I don't recognise anyone, am I? <laughs> you don't recognise people anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. I don't know anyone because you fired everyone. I won't How's things it. out there? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm just... Terry, you know I'm about it. Let me let me explain right? let me explain something to you. What people don't know when I'm filming, I normally film, yeah, and I'm worried about editing. I'm worried about the business. My phone's in my pocket, ringing. I've got a hundred thousand problems at the same time I'm on camera. I'm filming. My phone is back in the cabin. I don't have to edit any of the footage, and I have no distraction distractions. Bro, it's like being on holiday. It says light work, yeah. Bro, it's light work when everyone's going, oh, are you ready? I said, what? I said, I'm ready. Let's do it. It's light work, Terry. They don't know that I have been physically and mentally conditioned for this. Bro, I'm, listen, the way that I've been tortured 
like over the years in that yard. Yeah, yeah I got you chatting rubbish, tr- trying to get a reaction out of me, and I've got none of that. I'm free to focus on delivering. And Terry, you know, I'm a man that delivers. That's all, yeah. Like the pizza boy, yeah. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Louise about something. She said, "This industry, it's fun, isn't it?" And I said, <laughs> yes. it? Give, "Give it a week. <laughs> give it a week if you think it's fun." Awesome, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I must have missed that day. I must have missed that day, boy. <laughs> they must never invited me and Terry there <laughs> to that party, what they had, where it was fun. Yeah, because all now I'm convinced this is a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> for something I did in the previous life, it has to be. All right, Tezza, I won't take up the rest of your evening, mate. Thank you for your time. Well done on that That's big right. order, man. That's, thank you. Well done, man. Top, top salesman, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, no point did I say that. I said, well done on the order. I said, well done on the order. But yeah. All right, cool. All right, Tessa. Speak to you later. Take care. I'll speak to you in the morning, mate. I'm so happy that while I'm here not answering my phone for hours, the world isn't ending and the team are delivering. Our new FD, Louise, she sent me a couple of emails while I'm answering at the moment. But it looks like in my absence, things are happening. Like, there have been times in the past when I haven't answered my phone for an hour and the world has nearly come to an end. Like, I've nearly had nothing left, but it looks like the team I've got in place now, it looks like they're handling it. Feel lucky, man. Feel blessed. It's Friday morning and I'm on road in Finland. About to jump in the car. They're carrying out some utility work. And I want to show you over here, I keep meaning to do this. I haven't seen a standard eight before tipper since I've been here. Look at how the axles are on all of these. Normally, when I see this, I see a low entry cab. But having a look at this now, they have a construction chassis looking at the height and they have the three axles at the back. And I'm not sure if the last axle steers, but I'm going to go and find out. And that's a pretty big machine to be on a main road loaded. You see, they've got the wheels on the machine. It's not tracked. So take a closer look. Must be lumps of hardcore or lumps of tarmac going in there. The guys are looking like, why is he filming? Is he on a stitch up? No, I'm not on a stitch up. We are all on the same team. Let's go have a closer look. I'm going to assume that that Rear axle does steer. Uh, I wasn't welcomed with open arms. <laughs> but anyway, I managed to have a closer look, which is what I wanted to do from the start. Uh, we start at 10 a.m. today and we finish at 10 p.m. It's going to be a long one. I hit the gym nice and early. Uh, got back to the hotel, don't normally eat breakfast, but I edit today because I have trained some organic oatmeal and an egg white omelette. I'm ready. The team are here loading up. Let's do this. Saturday morning, I'm on the way to the set. This is the last day of filming. I didn't train this morning, and I got back at like half 10, 11 last night. Um, so I didn't train then either. And this morning, I thought that I'd give myself some rest because towards the end of the day yesterday, I'm gonna be honest, I, I struggled a little bit. So I thought, let me let myself get that bit more rest so I'm fresh for today. And I got back in the room and I can hear like loads of people beating tune. Like it's Friday night, like there were nightclubs open and bars and um, I'm getting messages from friends and family like, oh, Finland's beautiful, have you seen it? I haven't seen anything in fin- Finland yet. Um, nor did I see anything of San Francisco, but I'm beginning to learn um, that is the way it works when you're going to different countries and cities in your filming. So. Hopefully I get a chance to come back and and look around, but at the moment it doesn't look like I will because I'm heading out tomorrow. Uh, Next week I'm in London working all week and then I believe I'm going to head out Saturday and I'm going to be going to Vegas, which should have been Dubai, but the schedule changed yesterday. So I'm just working with it. Final day, time to focus and deliver. Mm-hmm. 
Sunday morning, I'm at the airport in Helsinki, uh, sat in the lounge, using my laptop, doing some work, preparing a load of emails that are gonna go out at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Two hour drive here, and um, I was back to back on the phone, uh, because at Asheville, people talk on a Sunday. It's not a working day, but it's a good day to reflect and catch up because you're not so busy. And as I was looking at all the, the greenery in Finland and all the lovely trees and the bridges and all the natural stone they got here, they got loads of granite everywhere, a lot more than we have. They can make a lot of type one. One of the conversations I had was with Matt, who's doing some investigation into the market. And we've had feedback, which I've heard for a long time, that Asheville are seen as disruptive in the industry. What I mean by that is we don't do things in the same way. I wouldn't say we're upsetting people, but we're shaking things up. I didn't want that reputation. I just wanted to kind of fall in line and get by and, and you know, just go below the radar and make it happen. But in my conversations this morning, it was like, listen, we can't behave like a company with 30 to 40 years of history, and we cannot behave like a company that floats on the stock exchange with unlimited resources. The reason we have got to where we are is because um, we are disruptive and we are shaking the industry up. So it was basically, Daniel, keep doing what you're doing and stop trying to be like everyone else and stop trying to fall in line. And then they gave me a great example that completely gassed me. Normally, when you give me the Michael Jordan reference, I feel gassed, but then they gave me the Elon Musk one. Look how disruptive he is. And he's one of the richest men in the world. And everything he has ever done in that industry is disruptive. And he've done, he's done things the way he thinks they should be. It was good to have some feedback from outside because generally everything's done in-house to say that we need to keep going the way we're going and we're on the right path. Jump on the plane, two hour journey. Got to get a cab to the yard. Terry has left my car there. Hopefully it doesn't have a puncture and this time it's got fuel. We'll be having that conversation in the morning, Tezza. And that's it for Asheville Weekly, episode 109. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here, subscribe to our channel. Click here to see an Asheville video you may not have seen before. And click here for last week's episode, which was number 108.